congratulations on the purchase of your solar shade. This video will help guide you through the installation process. To begin, you will need to install the ring on your shade using the provided ring screw. Be sure to tighten the ring screw completely. Next, you will need to determine your type of installation. If you are installing your shade on a wall or beam as shown here, you are performing a wall installation. If you are installing your shade underneath a beam or overhang, as shown here, you are performing a ceiling installation. Consider the following tips before you install your shade. Your shade comes with a total of three valance brackets. You must install at least two of them. The two required brackets should be installed near the ends of the shade, allowing two inches from each end. If you choose to install the third bracket, install it near the center of your shade. When installing your valance brackets, you must allow at least one inch above the bracket or one inch behind the bracket to allow the shade to click into place. It is important to install your brackets into wood studs. If wood studs are not available, anchors will be needed. Contact your local hardware store for information on wall anchors. It is very important that your valance brackets are installed level with each other. Your shade will not install correctly unless your valance brackets are perfectly aligned with each other. We recommend using a laser level to align the screw holes. Your shade comes with an installation template to align your pilot holes. Follow these steps to use it. Start by temporarily attaching the template to the mounting surface. Make sure it is level and flat. Mark and drill your pilot holes. Remove the template before installing your valance brackets. Install your valance brackets using two screws per bracket. For ceiling installations, the tabs should point out towards you. For wall installations, the tab should point down. For wall installations, hook the back of the valance onto the top of the valance brackets. Then rotate the shade down and click it into place. For ceiling installations, hook the back of the valance onto the back of the valance brackets. Then rotate the shade down and click into place. You may need to use your thumb or an object such as a screwdriver to click your shade into place. Assemble the three-piece pole by sliding the long piece and handle piece into the pole mid-piece. Be sure the lock washers are on the pole screws before attaching the screws. Your shade includes two bungee systems to secure the shade during mild wind conditions. Install the bungee hook by drilling the hook into a wall or post using one bracket screw from your hardware box. Feed the bungee through the bottom tube plug located at each end of the bottom tube. Hook the bungee onto the hook. Then raise your shade slightly to achieve tension. Remember, you should always roll your shade up during windy conditions. Installation is now complete. If you would like to move your crank or reverse the shade's roll direction, continue watching for further instructions. The crank mechanism comes pre-installed on the right side of your shade. If you prefer your crank on the left side, you have the option of moving it. First, make sure the shade opening is facing upwards towards the sky. Remove the two crank screws and the two plug disc screws. You will now be able to remove the shade from the valance. Then remove the crank mechanism and the crank plug. Next, remove the plug disc and the plug with pin. Now move the crank plug and the crank mechanism to the left side of the shade. 
Insert the crank plug into the top tube. Move the plug with pin and plug disc to the right side of the shade. Insert the plug with pin into the top tube. Install the plug disc onto the right side of the valance using the plug disc screws. Then install the crank mechanism onto the left side of the valance using the crank screws. Make sure the ring is facing towards the front of the shade. Reinstall the shade into the valance by first inserting the crank plug into the crank mechanism. Next, while pressing the pin in, insert the plug with pin into the plug disc. You may need to use a screwdriver to help lock it into place. If you want to reverse the direction that your shade rolls, simply roll your shade all the way down. Continue rolling the shade, it will roll itself back up in the opposite direction. Important. If you reverse the roll direction of your shade, you will need to flip the ring on your crank mechanism to prevent the fabric from interfering with the ring. If you change the roll direction of your shade, you will need to flip the ring on your crank mechanism. Start by removing the two crank screws. Then lift the shade out of the valance, flip the ring, reinstall the crank screws, and place the shade back into the valance. 